Thanks so much, Taylor. Yeah, I'm joined by the 2021 Finals MVP, two-time All-Star, the guard, the quote-unquote assistant GM of this Chicago Sky team and Kalia Copper. First off, how are you? First time, is this your first time here at Wrigley Field this season? This is my first time here this season, so uh, I'm super excited. And you throwing out the first pitch. We got to talk. Any warm-ups? <laughs> what did you do to get ready for this first pitch? Anything at all? You told me you played softball. so <sighs> I did, but I, it's no underhand today. So today, I'm... I'm I'm warm up my shoulder a little bit, <laughs> and we're going to see what we're happens. We're not going to get some, some whippets in there. I, th I think that could work. I think that could work. No, nah, we're not going to do that. And you know, it's against your hometown team in the Phillies as well. You know, first off, to see your to come to a game and also get a taste of home as well, what does that mean to you to be able to get a little bit of Philly here in Chicago with them in town? I think this is why I picked this game. Um, I think Philly is, is number one for me, but Chicago is the second city for me. Uh, second home. Uh, I love this city, love the fans. So for me to be able to get a taste of home and a taste of my second city, this is what I need. And, you know, now we're in this season, about 15, 16 games in. It's been a rough stretch recently, but what are just your overall impressions right now of the roster that you kind of helped create in the off season? And what are your expectations that you see them coming through, you know, before the All-Star break? Uh, I'm, I'm just admiring our toughness and our ability to handle adversity. I think everything negative that could have possibly happened this season has happened. Uh, between injuries um, and just everything, losses. So uh, I'm proud of the, how the team responds every single night. You know, we don't hang our heads. Uh, we go out there and we compete every single day. So I'm just proud of the group uh, in general, that how we're able to handle the adversity and, you know, keep it pushing. With that adversity, you know, you have the All-Star break coming up here soon. What, do you, what can you guys do to help get back on track before the All-Star break so you guys can get some body rest and, and things like that, let injuries, you know, take their time to recoup? You know, just continue to take care of our bodies, but continue to, to watch film and, you know, not make the same mistakes over and really learn from the things that we're doing out there. You know, you're a two-time All-Star as well. Could be three-time this year. What would that mean to you, you know, to be in your third All-Star as an All-Star reserve and be out in Vegas at, for the All-Star game this season? Uh, I think it's, it's special. You know, you never get, get bored with the, the success of things that happen in your career. So uh, I think it'll be another moment for me to just take it all in, but... Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, are we going to get you in a skills competition? Are we going to get you maybe shooting some threes? Yeah. <sighs> Allie was doing it last year. We got to get a sky rep this year. Ah, uh, Allie, I miss Allie. Uh, no. No? <laughs> We're not going to get you no, no three points? That's fine. <laughs> you know, outside of that, another person that was an all-star, someone that's on your shirt. You got a great little shirt on. We got we D-Rod in the building. I absolutely love it. First off, one, where did you get that? Because I want one. And two, what is, did Dennis Rodman do anything to you? Did he mean anything to your game at all? I mean, he's, he's as physical as physical can get. You know what I mean? Uh, he a killer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> on the court, like a real killer. So I have so much respect for his game. And um, I just admire the way he approached and, and played the game. So I think that that's how it should be played. Uh, and uh, I can't remember where I got the shirt, but... It's fly. It, I know. You stunned out here. You got ice all over it. You got the <laughs> Robin going. You just out here flexing. I absolutely love it. You know, outside of this game as well, you have the Spark Series coming up. Early game tomorrow right here on Marquee Sports Network at 11 a.m. It's camp day. First off, what is, is camp day? Do you guys wear, like, earplugs or anything during camp day with the kids and everything? Are you guys allowed to wear earplugs? Or what's it like for camp day, camp day games? We should wear earplugs, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun. You know, the kids, they get to hear the TikTok songs. Um, they don't care who wins the game. <laughs> They're going to yell for both teams. So it's sold out, so it's going to be loud. So I'm just excited for tomorrow to compete. And what does that mean as well? It's a camp day. You know, you lot see a lot of campers, especially from the Doug Bruno camp, and a lot of girl, little girls coming in to watch you play. What does that mean to you to kind of be a role model to some of these up-and-coming ballers that, you know, could join the WNBA maybe, on, maybe later on? I think these, these moments are special because uh, you have so many young girls uh, stop playing sports so young. So for them to be able to see us uh, be successful at the highest level and compete and be ourselves and be passionate and be competitive. Um, I think that's important for their growth and for them to really be inspired. All right, we got we only got a few more minutes until first pitch. Are we going to see a strike? Are we going to see a ball? What are we going to see? We got just don't bounce. That's all we got to see. No bounces. I no can bounce. guarantee it. <laughs> no bounces. It's just a transition pass, just on a on a mound. That's yeah. all you're doing. Just, just throwing a baseball pass. Just like a transition pull up. I, <laughs> transition pull up. I absolutely love it. You want to give me a score prediction for today's game, Cubs Phillies. A score prediction? Yeah. I can't give you a score prediction, but I can say the Phillies going to win. Sorry. Oh, boy. The Phillies going to win. You know, you Philly kid, you can't help it. Thank you so much for joining us here today, Kalia. Thank you so much for joining us, talking to us about your upcoming season and the season as a whole and the possible all-star game that we could see you in as well. Fingers crossed. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you.